Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my channel. I am Rof Yasin, and you guys are watching ASP.NET Core MVC e-commerce web application development. In previous video, we have created this core project for storing our interfaces and models. In this video, we are going to create uh, our new project uh, within this solution for managing our repositories and business. Basically, it will be a business layer. So uh, just follow me in like these are uh, this is not a straightforward if you see every YouTube tutorial you will see like everyone is adding controllers models and views and things like like simple but I, I do have t tutorials where I use the simple approaches but in this uh, video sphere is basically we are developing a complete e-commerce application and I want to be like as much professional as I can be uh, as much professional approach I can use I'll try my best. So there with me and follow what I am doing at the moment. In in next video, I will explain you the complete structure of this web application. So basically, uh, when you have something, uh, then it will be m like more easy uh, for your understanding. So just follow me. At startup, you will you will face difficulty. Normally, you will not see these types of tutorials on YouTube. Uh, so obviously you will face face a little bit difficulty but just follow me bear with me and we'll catch up and we'll understand everything what it what is going on uh, so basically uh, uh, you can say in previous video we created this core project in this video we are going to create our business project which will contain things like repositories uh, migrations data context clause uh, basically all the business logics and things like context class migrations etc so basically we are we are creating we are like we are making a, an architecture of our application and i will explain you the complete architecture in or in or you can say structure of our application in the next video so just follow me in what i'm doing and we'll catch up the things in the next video so again, we'll have to right click on this solution folder, add, and we'll add a new project. And we can select this class library, C sharp one. And otherwise, if you don't find here, you can always search here, C sharp class library. Okay, so basically, this is a class library for creating class library that targets using C sharp. So click next and the name of this library, this project will be pounds saving store dot business. Okay. This one is the web project for many things like controllers, views, view models and everything for the UI of our application. This is the core layer for managing uh, models interfaces things and we have this is a business layer which is basically uh, you can say the ba the basically it, it is used to maintain context and data etc so this will be business layer we'll add .NET 5.0 is okay and again when we created this project it will show you like this default class we can right click and we we can delete this class because we don't want to use any default class so at the moment we have one solution and within this solution we have these three projects we will be creating later on once this mvc course is finished and we we're done with the e-commerce web application we will be creating two more solutions uh, or maybe we can create three or four more but uh, more importantly, at the end of this course, when this course is finished and we're going to create uh, API and Angular, two, like two more projects for API and for client, two more projects we're going to create within this solution. So currently we have three. We will be working with these three and later on we'll be adding more projects in this. So let's say we want to add a WinForm project. We will be adding, we want to create a mobile app, Xamarin app, we, we will be adding so things like we can add that's why we i renamed this solution i named this solution like this and separate projects like this this makes sense so in in previous video we have created this core project and we we have created two folders like interfaces and models 
and in this video we've created this business project and within this business project uh, we do need, need some folders so we have this data folder which will basically contain uh, things like uh, our connection string oh sorry our uh, db context clause uh, let's say we have some data to seed so we will store that seeded or static data within this class and we want to st uh, store migrations within this data folder and after that we'll have another folder which will be basically repository okay so this folder will contain all of our repositories uh, so we will be storing our repository we will be storing interfaces within this core project and repositories within this project so this is basically the complete structure of our initial application so we have here is a web layer here is a core layer and here is a business layer so i think this makes a little bit sense and in the next video we will basically understand everything about this layer uh, these layers of our application uh, so how these layers are related to each other and how how we can reference each layer within other our other projects basically we'll understand everything in the next video so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next video bye